this HP laptop's having issues, so I'm disabling the Intel Optane volume. Um, they have an Intel Optane SSD. I always see these Intel Optane SSDs fail, so I, I don't know I don't know why they have this. I mean, they think it makes it faster. It's basically adding RAM in between the RAM, which is on solid state memory, which doesn't make sense at all because the whole point of having RAM <clears throat> is so that you're not writing stuff directly onto the data stored on the drive until after you're sure everything's finalized, then it basically writes to the drive to make the changes. So the reason why it writes or runs off RAM is if your computer crashes, you don't want that to write to your main drive all those errors or whatever caused the crash. You want that to be just temporarily from the RAM. So by adding this Optane thing in between, it's basically you're writing stuff to the drive itself that is meant not to be written to the drive and then if some error happens you basically screw up your whole data structure you screw up your whole drive at least that's my understanding of it and that's why i keep seeing these failures if i'm wrong tell me how i'm wrong but i don't know every time i see these intel optane things they fail so i've seen so many intel optane things fail um even if they're not using the direct Intel Optane memory, but if they're using like the Intel VMD, which is basically the Optane stuff, but using another drive, it, it causes problems. I, I don't know. They need to stop putting this stuff on computers. The computers are fast enough as is. Don't put like extra in between RAM to try and speed up a tiny bit at the cost of like killing your computer. It's basically like running a, in like a raid but not like a mirror raid, you know, um, what do you call it? Like a striped raid where it's basically using multiple drives as one to try and speed it up. Um, this is, I'm assuming the Optane stuff is supposed to be like cache storage where it kind of remembers stuff that should be basically closed out and saved to the drive but instead it just keeps it in that little extra cache storage memory. So when you turn on your computer, instead of it like writing and then or reopening all that stuff and putting it back into RAM, it's already in that cache storage ready to go to shoot into the RAM. So it's kind of like a hibernate, hybrid kind of thing, which I don't know. I see it cause too many issues. Even with Windows, their uh, fast startup or whatever, fast boot thing, they're trying to make the computer start up faster, but by doing that, they're basically storing system files instead of completely saving them back to the drive properly. It's like leaving stuff there that's instead of closing it out. And then sometimes you shut down your computer, turn it back on because it's not actually doing an actual restart or shutdown because it's keeping stuff in that extra like cache storage memory, then it causes problems. You start having issues and then you have to restart your computer to get it to fix itself. And people don't know that, then they think, oh, let me shut down my computer and turn it back on and that will fix it. But shutting it down no longer does that because now it's storing stupid stuff in that cache memory. So I don't know, get rid of this dumb Intel Optane stuff. If you're gonna be using this to try and speed up your computer a tiny bit, make sure you have constant backups going that are basically running in the background because when it screws up your computer you basically are going to lose all your stuff so yeah i don't know this this stuff is too many dumb issues and then it's like microsoft also trying to force everyone to encrypt their drives it like by default encrypts their drives and then it saves their stuff and i don't know what microsoft windows intel what they're thinking they're doing crazy stupid risky stuff that doesn't really benefit the users much um i mean if, if you can show me how much more beneficial it is to run this intel optane stuff yeah sh show me the performance difference like is it even that much noticeable you save what less than half a second like is, is that really much gain in performance that you're willing to risk destroying all your data losing all your data and then the encryption stuff microsoft like forces everyone to use the pin instead of their password then they forget their passwords and they forget their emails because they don't see their email address they just see a username it's, there's so much stupid stuff that's going on in the computer world right now i don't know they're trying to i don't know if they're trying to collect people's data force them to 
give them their email addresses and stuff so they can spam them with garbage. I don't know what's going on, but they're trying to link everyone into this cloud thing so that you have to continuously keep paying them to keep your data. I mean, if all your data is important and you want someone to make sure that your data isn't lost, okay, sure. But most people, they're just like, okay, I just want to use my computer. If I lose my data, then I lose my data. Or let them worry about that later. If they, if their drive dies, then send it to a data recovery place, like 300, 400 bucks. I'm pretty sure the chance of that and the cost of that is less than continuously paying monthly, yearly, or whatever for keeping all your data somewhere. And then if your database gets hacked, and now basically all your all that data that people are storing on your cloud, on your servers, is leaked out to the whoever stole it. So... I don't know. Crazy stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. This thing right now we're disabling because it's having issues booting the computer. I'm hoping once I get rid of this Optane stuff, I'll be able to fix it. Um, it's just running right now. I can't do anything till it finishes. You can say it may take a couple minutes to a couple hours. Um, so we'll just have to wait till this finishes. Um, and if you're wondering how I got to this screen, I don't even know if I'll be able to show it after I disabled it, um, but basically there's like the option for the, what do you call, the drive options. I'll see if I can show you guys later, but for now, um, we got to wait till this finishes. I won't be able to show the full process on how to disable it, but basically you would go into this menu and then they have like multiple steps to, do you want to preserve your data? Yes. Enable it. Do you want to disable it? Yes. And then it'll ask, and then you have to go down, disable and press enter again. But um, yeah, they make it kind of complicated to even turn this off. At least HP gives the option to disable it from the BIOS. Um, other ones you have to go into like the Intel RST, Rapid Storage, whatever, Rapid Storage Technology or whatever, to disable it from there. There's like a program. And yeah, they make it, it's, I don't know, such a headache. Um, but yeah, if you're use, planning to use something like this or RAID, make sure that you have something that's also mirroring your drive. So if something happens, you can load it back. Also, make sure that you know how to load back your mirror onto your computer. Not that you're just like, I have a backup, but I have no way to put the backup back on the computer. Because otherwise, what's the point of having your backup if you have no way to restore your backup, right? So, I don't know. There's all this frustrating stuff that's going on with these computers these days software wise and they're trying to force everyone I know they want um, a way to continue to make money um, but I don't know imagine you make something and then you're like okay since I made you this little trinket or statue you have to continue paying me for the rest of your life as long as you have that statue like does that sound right to you because that's what's going on with all the computer stuff now. They're like, okay, you have the computer, but you're going to have to pay us this subscription fee. So as long as you own this computer, you're going to have to keep paying us. And people are people are probably like, okay, well, that's because we need to continue paying our, our employees or whatever. I mean, if you're not building anything any more useful, should you continue to be paid for that? I don't know. I don't know. You got paid for your job already. Like, right? Like, if you create a software for me or a website for me, like, should you continue to be paid for the rest of your life when the website took you what? Let's say it took you an hour to build a website, 10 hours to build a website. Should you be continue to be paid as if you were working for me for like 10,000 hours? I don't think that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that that's basically what's going on with the software stuff these days is they're trying to force everyone into, well, you're using our product and you're con going to continue to use our product, so you should continue to pay us for the rest of your life as long as you continue to use our product. I don't, I don't know. Why not push out more stuff, more features, more useful stuff? And if there's nothing else you can add to it, then... I don't know. Personally, I feel it doesn't make sense to continue paying for something that you already bought and that's already made. Um, but maybe people have different arguments for that. All right, so here you go. This is the thing. Before it had a thing that let me disable the raid, 
but now you can see it's in here. So it's in this Intel Rapid Storage. So it's in this configuration. You press F10 on boot on HP to get to the BIOS here, and it's in this UEFI HII configuration. So I don't even know how you can re-enable it. Is it possible to even re-enable it now? I don't know, but you can see the RAID partition, or not the RAID, the, uh, what do you call, the RST VMD partition is 27.2 gigs. It's a separate thing, so I don't know. I always see that cause problems. Um, so usually I will disable that VMD stuff, but uh, if your computer already had it on, then I don't know, disabling it might make it not boot, and then you'd have to turn it back on. But yeah, I usually disable that stuff now. Secure boot also, so you can't boot external boot stuff. I mean, if someone has access to your computer, then they would just disable that and do that anyways, right? So I don't know if they're going to try and boot. I don't know if there's some boot that people can hack you later to do it without physically being here. But uh, I don't know. Is is that a thing that's happening? Is that why, what, does the secure boot even block that? I feel like if people are trying to find ways around those, they're going to be able to basically disable that and then boot their thing without even remoting, without being, having access, if they can boot an external OS. Anyways, that's enough of my rant for today. I'll see you guys later. This, I don't think this is going to boot. It's probably going to still do that. Please wait, it's loading, and that's probably because the stupid VMD thing caused some errors to be written on the drive, and now the OS is broken. All right, well, let's do this. 8277, enter. Turn off the secure boot. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. It's probably just going to still say there's a boot error, and it's going to keep looping again. And if that's the case... Oh, okay, at least it's doing something different now. It's doing this BitLocker recovery. So I'm going to have to ask the customer if they can retrieve this. And if not, then I don't know. But yeah, that's it. See you guys later. Bye. Okay, and now it's showing that Windows is loading. Before, it just kept saying, please wait. It's trying to repair itself. So that fixed it. Getting rid of the stupid... <laughs> Intel, Optane, VMD, whatever, RST thing. Just turning that off and then logging in with the, or putting the BitLocker key, fixed it. See that? Stupid, stupid <laughs> Intel Optane stuff. Get rid of that. Get rid of the Intel Optane. Don't put it on your computer. If it's on it, turn it off. Get rid of it. <laughs>